Good morning, everyone. We've got a lot going on weather-wise today, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and that gives us our most significant rain chance we've seen in quite a while. We have some moisture building in from the southwest. Stalled frontal boundary keeps us unstable. Cold front pushing through as well. Everything riding along the stationary boundary, so rain chance today is somewhere around 80 to 90 percent, so showers are likely a possible thunderstorm if we see some sun and get warm enough because the heating of the day really fires those up. But some of those showers could be low Locally strong and heavy at times. Let's take a look at future casts and play out the timeline of our morning. We see a lot of it in our area, the pops of green, which is the rain in the morning hours. Afternoon, it appears that our area clears out as for rain, but we remain cloudy throughout the afternoon on into the evening hours. That's according to our future, future cast, but you want to grab that umbrella just to be prepared. Temperature wise today, we're going to be about 75. So 75 for Sarasota, and as we look at the state picture, 76 in Tampa, 79 Fort Myers, 78 in Key West this afternoon, 77 in Orlando, 6 69 Pensacola, 65 in Jacksonville. That is our cool spot in the state today. Now, as for your marine forecast, boaters, showers and thunderstorms on the Gulf. You just saw that. Winds out of the southeast, 10 to 15 knots, becoming northwesterly in the afternoon. Seas will be 2 to 4 feet. There's a moderate chop. Your water temperature is 73 degrees. UVA today, because of all the cloud cover, will be a 2. Five days and counting. Five days left in the 2009 Atlantic hurricane season. Nothing to talk about here. All is quiet. Quiet in the west today as well. We're going to be dry and mild today as through Turkey day so that is good news if you're heading out west in the midwest however we are seeing uh, wet conditions in the corn belt basically up to the great lake area today we could see some snow in the dakotas and uh, minnesota as well today and this is pushing towards the east now in the south nice and dry and quiet except for our neck of the woods, Florida. And in the northeast today, we're seeing uh, some showers push in from this system here, first in upstate New York and Pennsylvania, then later in Baltimore today in Washington. Let's take a look at the numbers. This is the busiest travel day of the year. And if you're heading out of Florida, here's what you can expect temperature-wise. 53 in Boston, 54 in Washington, 52 in St. Louis, 67 in Dallas, 68 in Brownsville, 79 in Phoenix, and 49 in Denver today, pollen mold counts exactly the same as yesterday. We are holding steady. Absent for tree pollen, absent for grass. We're in the moderate level for weeds, and we are low for mold today. Now, today, we'll call it sort of a transition day as we're watching a cold front push through. And again, after it does push through, things look absolutely wonderful for us. We're going to see some nice cooler temperatures. But today, mostly cloudy, scattered showers as a cold front moves in, high of 75 degrees. So that's lower than we have been. We've been about 80 most of the week today so far I should say and then tonight we're still going to see a chance of scattered showers but we're going to have a relatively mild night the cooler temperatures set in uh, as we move on through the next six days sunset will be 536 we're only going down to 63 degrees tonight and we'll have uh, sort of a light breeze 6 to 11 miles per hour winds of the north northwest take a look at the next six days Happy Thanksgiving. It's going to be a happy one. Sunny conditions, 73 degrees, nice and cool. But look at Friday, even cooler. Black Friday, grab a sweater as you head out the door early morning for those sales. 66 degrees will only be our daytime high. We are in the 60s on Saturday as well. And then we warm up slightly from there, but we still see plenty of sunshine. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks for logging on to HeraldTribune.com.